in the bustling city of Capito Villa, President Johnson's death sent shock waves through the nation. As the news spread, citizens gathered in sorrow. The once vibrant streets became hushed, drabbed in a while of grief. Memories of the president's leadership flooded minds, and the nation stood united in mourning. Amidst the sermon atmosphere, Vice President Roger stepped into the role of the nation's leader. With a heavy heart, he addressed the grieving nation, promising to honor President Johnson's legacy. As Capitol Villa mourned, the political landscape shifted and a sense of uncertainty loomed. Investigations into the president's death began, revealing a plot that shocked the foundation of trust. The discovery of a secret organization aiming to destabilize the government sent shock waves through the corridors of power. The nation grappled with the revelation that a sinister force had orchestrated the demise of their beloved leader. In the days that followed, the citizens demanded justice. Protests erupted, demanding accountability for those responsible. The streets, once quiet in mourning, now echoed with the chance for truth and retribution. Vice President Roger, facing immense pressure, vowed to bring the perpetrators to justice and restore the nation's faith in its leadership. The investigation unraveled a web of conspiracy that reached unexpected corners of the government. As names were exposed, trust eroded, leaving citizens questioning the very foundations of their democracy. In this tumultuous time, the nation faced a pivotal choice, succumb to division or unite to rebuild. Amidst the chaos, a moment for unity emerged. Citizens from all walks of life, disillusioned by the betrayal, stood together to rebuild the nation. The death of President Johnson became a catalyst for change, inspiring a collective resolve to strengthen the democracy they held dear. With trials exposing the guilty and the legal system ensuring justice, Capitol Villa slowly began to heal. The resilience of its people shone through as they worked hand in hand to mend the fractures left by the conspiracy. The nation, scared but not broken, embarked on a journey of renewal. In the wake of tragedy, the death of President Johnson became a turning point. His legacy lived on not just in history books, but in the spirit of a nation that chose unity over discord. As Capitol Villa rebuilt, it stood as a testament to the strength found in adversity, proving that even in the face of darkness, the light of unity could prevail.